Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at Toontastic 3D, which is the latest version of the popular Toontastic app available for Android, iOS, and for Chrome. We're going to use it here on my Chromebook. So I already have it installed. We're going to launch it. And to get started, we'll hit the plus symbol. And we'll choose the story type. We'll do a short story. And here our students will see a little template that they can work with. They can also add a specific section or take out a specific section, section by using the edit function. We'll leave it as is. Now let's go through the story and create it. We'll start with the beginning. And when we click on beginning, there'll be a little overview of what a beginning should be for students. I'll fast forward through that part. The beginning, where you introduce the character. And we can pick a setting from one of the many pre-made, pre-drawn scenes. And if your students don't like any of those, they can draw their own. And there's a variety of drawing tools that they can use. But I'm gonna go back. And I'm gonna use one of the pre-made scenes here. I'll use the classroom setting. And you can scroll around the setting and you'll see that there's more to it than what just appears in the screen. But now we're gonna choose our characters and you can customize any of the characters. These are some characters I've previously made here. Now you can move the characters before you start recording, like I'm doing here. I'm putting them into place. And now I can click start. One day, the student came to class and she saw on the board that today's lesson was going to be a very hard math topic. And at first, she felt like running away. One day, the student came to class and she saw on the board that today's lesson is going to be a very hard math topic. And at first, she felt like running away. And here I can choose the music that I want to use in the background, One or day, I can use no music at all. Class, and... Now let's set the middle of our story. The middle. And I'll use the same scene. And I'll use my same characters. Now it's important to note you can add an additional character in at this point. So if you want to scroll through and add another, you want to add one more character. I'll add this character in and I can customize the way he looks. I can give him different clothes or different colors on his clothing. I can change his hair color if I wanted to. And now I'll have three characters in this particular scene. And I'll put my teacher back in the front of the room. This one's going to be off the screen. And this student will be in the front of the room.
But the student came back when she saw that her good friend was sticking around for the lesson. But the student came back when she saw that her good friend was sticking around for the And now we'll conclude our story. The end. Where you're... And we'll again use that same scene. We'll use the same characters. And I'll put my characters back in their places. And so both students stayed and learned a lot in the math lesson. And at the end of the day, they were happy as they were walking home. And you can see here, I can move them out of the scene or into a different part of this entire school building scene. So there's more to it than what appears just in the screen itself. And so both students stayed and learned a lot in the math lesson. And at the end of the day, they were happy. And so now my story is complete. It's not the best story ever written or created, but we have it and I'll finish it. And I'll call it my sample story. And we can play it, play it back. Created by Mr. Byrne. One day, the student came to class and she saw on the board that today's lesson was going to be a very hard math topic. And at first, she felt like running away. But the student came back when she saw that her good friend was sticking around for the lesson. And so both students stayed and learned a lot in the math lesson. And at the end of the day, they were happy as they were walking home. And you can see here, I can move them out of the scene or into a different part of this entire school building scene. There's more to it than what appears just in the screen itself. And after my final credits roll in this video, I'll be able to save the video to my local device. You'll notice I did not have to sign in to any account in order to create this video, which is a great option for your students if they're sharing devices. They don't have to log into a Toontastic account. We can go ahead now and export that video and save it directly on my Chromebook. And once it's saved to my Chromebook, I can share it in a variety of ways, including through Google Drive or Google Classroom. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.